Hello and good afternoon also in the behalf of our firm, which is a Center za Ravnanje Vrhnika. Rough translation would be a waste treatment facility or center. And part of this facility is also a compost facility and happened to be that I am in charge. Okay? And the, we are uh, one of, let's say, group of the Zaubermacher Slovenia. So prime, prime goal for us is to collect all waste and not just waste, but also other things. So uh, I, I'm not quite sure if you're familiar with the uh, basic composting. So before we start with our case, I should tell you something about the, uh, <coughs> this uh, composting. Let me some page down. So, what is composting? So, composting is a nature way of recycling, turning your fruit, vegetable, everything that you have. Aha, kide A to tudi na, čisto. Okay. So, we put yard trimming, so it means leaves, branches, and things like that. Uh, and we, at the end, are uh, confronted with a let's say, smelling soil conditioner. Also, compost is good, is key ingredient in organic farming. Also, it's additive to soil. We can say also that it's a strong fertilizer. I will tell you something about later. <laughs> so, what we need in, in uh, composting, that we will be happy. We need green waste, we need brown waste, we need balance between air and water. And uh, here we see also that out from the, uh, uh, this process comes out carbon dioxide, heat, and unfortunately also methane. Because it is aerobic process, but in little in cases we have also, we call this uh, small pockets within a pile, so that produce let's say, a little bit anaerobic, so it methane comes out, but it's less than percent, let's say. Uh, uh, Besides those uh, uh, things, we also should, uh, should uh, consider carbon and nitrogen uh, ratio, which is very important for good composting. But lay, I will tell you this uh, a little bit later. So, thanks to our friendly bugs and worms and also it means microorganisms. Composting is, is a really a pretty easy um, task for everybody. What we need is that we have shredded materials uh, to increase the surface of the, uh, of the whole, let's say, playground. Then we have mix greens and browns. You know what greens is, uh, you were uh, uh, told before. So brown greens, uh, brown means, let's say, something waste with a carbon based. For example, corn, corn cups, uh, pine needles or something like that. So, uh, and the third, very important is, like I said before, maintain oxygen and water balance. This is a prime. So, air could, could uh, regulate with the blowers, water with the wetting systems. So, in our case, composting is not a quick process. So, it is at least 12 weeks. Uh, in some cases, we prolonged also to 14 weeks. And like I said before, be aware of compost and soil ratio. It's very strong fertilizer. The problem is not just in uh, biodegradable waste, but also that lots of people in Slovenia uh, do not distinguish uh, what is soil and what is uh, compost. They say, give me some soil, to, to make plants grow bigger. No? So this is also our, this awareness of what compost is. Compost is very strong fertilizer. It means that we must, uh, we must let's say, mix in ratio between 20 to 80% in favor of soil. So not the way around. So uh, green and brown waste, now you know, those are biodegradable waste. Abbreviation should be BW. In some, in some um, scientific magazines, 
they say BMW. So someone who is fond of German cars would remember this abbreviation <laughs> because it's biodegradable municipal waste. But I will, I will talk about biodegradable waste. As you know, garden, park, food and kitchen, waste from households, those are collected from, let's say, our municip municipal uh, uh, facilities around, let's say, 30 kilometers is radius. Also, we have from Piran, which is not 30 kilometers, and from Tulmin, around 100 kilometers. Uh, just uh, we must pay attention to the cost, uh, transportation cost. So, other biodegradable waste comes from mostly from the supermarkets. So, for example, if you have uh, chocolate with expired date or a bag of flour or something like that, we can do, we can do it in our composting process. And before we started, we needed also structural material uh, like wooden pellets, sawdust, woody prunings to, to make uh, this process more uh, airy. So in our case, waste input is around 10,000 tons per year, which is a, let's say, small or medium range compost facility. Whereas outside, uh, whereas output should be around 4,000 tons per year of pure, mature uh, compost without any uh, bags or metal things or uh, glass. Uh, so bio, biodegradable waste are mixed with structural material in a preparation hall. A preparation should be RH. So first of all, we must, uh, let's say, prepare our pile, which is, I would say later, 200 tons. So we are uh, all this sh shredded to a small pieces, 12 millimeters in diameter. That's the veterinary requirement of these authorities. So this material is uh, shredded and wasted wood, so structural materials is shredded and put into the reception hall. In reception hall, I will show you after two slides, we have photos, have a ventilation system, active negative aeration, it's a very ugly word, it's um, suction, which is a little bit more ugly word, but I couldn't find another one. And with a sewage and drainage system for a waste compost water. So, like I said, at the beginning, a ratio starts with uh, biodegradable waste and structural material in a ratio between three to one. But at the beginning, at the end, they come refined structural material again into initial uh, pile. So everything here is provided by loader. Uh, uh, shredding is provided by Schroeder Kort Willibald, German, German um, uh, made, let's say, vehicle. And mixture is carefully prepared, let's say five days, maybe six days, because we have to prepare 200 tons of shredded materials of bio-waste bio and uh, structural material mixed in the ratio mentioned above. So it makes approximately 4, four to 4.5 to 4 tonnes per month in uh, average. So uh, we have, let's say, uh, composting, like I said, is a very easy process. We have four phases. One of the first phase is intense maturing. So, Intense maturing means that microorganisms are uh, uh, working really hard to, to, uh, in order to put, to raise a temperature to 70 degrees. So we have this performed in four huge tunnels in next photos. So these are very, uh, uh, so we have uh, four tunnels, which is a, uh, 200 tons, it's around 300 to 350 cubic meters of material, shredded materials. We put it in, in those uh, tunnels. We have also here a wetting system, which comes water into those, in let's say, beneath this, uh, above this loader, there is a wetting uh, machinery or wetting system. Below, we have a free 30 meters long and about 
this weight of uh, small channels uh, because when we we do negative aeration it also comes lots of droplets of uh, waters from the the pile so it has to leak to the uh, to the uh, to the opposite side and converge into the tank uh, we have an underground tank around 35 cubics of pure smelly uh, wastewater from compost so like i said uh, odors are loaded are leaded to biofilter it's just a moment okay i will show this later so after four weeks we come to a second phase phase which is very hard to uh, uh, translate we say naknadno it means afterward or um, post phase to maturing but i choose subsequently maturing it means that uh, the first phase four weeks of intense maturing is really intense and there is a uh, participation of some type of uh, bacteria here comes another type of bacteria which are not that aggressive like those in um, intense maturing so i will show you later every uh, every uh, pile 200 tons is transferred weekly from one place to another uh, by by a, a loader and machine rotating machine called yens because we after one week of tunnel number let's say uh, tunnel number number five we then must put next week into position number six with a special rotating machine because we put another let's say amount of oxygen to to uh, accelerate the whole thing so here is a let's say for example uh, uh, intense maturing process process we have uh, positions from number five to number eight uh, one tunnel mean let's say uh, roughly one week so we have 12 tunnels after uh, from the beginning till the end we have let's say 12 weeks maybe a little bit longer this is the outside view of um, a reception hall and those uh, four tunnels attached to the uh, reception hall here we have a uh, all smell come from underground to those blowers we have blowers for example number one two three four then we have five plus six seven plus eight vis-a-vis -vis, we have also for the intense maturing process number two i will late, uh, tell you something about later and in here let's say vis-a-vis -vis, we have also two mixing blowers we need this 60 kilowatts uh, of power to just to uh, to avoid any kind of uh, 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 let's say air pollution and this very nice smell this Schwade Weaver comes into this uh, hose and go to biofilter and that's for example very easy process but we have also blowers who are let's say frequent, uh, frequently uh, frequency uh, modulated so we can let's say spare some electricity okay this is the after subsequently maturing one comes logical subsequently maturing two uh, after two weeks of uh, after uh, four weeks of maturing one we come to the this num position number nine ten eleven twelve you can see on the background five to eight so this is the twelfth month of our process uh, the, the fourth phase is separation phase sowing of compost so these are very um, easy process we are separating mature compost uh, of small parts like metal glass plastic rocks and very important refined structure material which is as i told before added back to initial process then we have our uh, government authorities who are bugging me for uh, monitoring and uh, analysis and things like that so here is a example of mature compost should be around 
150, maybe 2,000 tons in this uh, of pure uh, compost, uh, mature compost. So if someone has, let's say, spare truck, heavy load, he can make all those vanished. I hope. <laughs> okay, this was just a, uh, let's say, really basic of compost. I, I, I'm sure that you know already know that. Uh, here we have uh, our case. So uh, we uh, did some tests uh, with the biodegradable bags, uh, which were uh, provided by our esteemed colleague. So uh, we try with 100 tons, it means half of tunnel. Uh, uh, it was, um, let's say, uh, for, uh, was prepared for the, this test. It was around 230 cubic meters of bio-waste material. Here is also included uh, uh, one, 10% uh, is also included um, uh, this uh, structural material. I, did, I didn't put down this. But Water content was a little bit, uh, it was pretty high because uh, this uh, material is in these up rolls, is uh, waiting approximately one uh, week to come to us. So when it's raining, it is closed, but we can this, we can percentage like this, between 35 to, in some case, 47, 48. So uh, concerning this dry matter content method. So, a pile was pre-cleaned of normal bags. Uh, it means that we put out this pile and spread it to the surface, let's say, 300 uh, square meters. We put some lunar suits on and cleaned these normal bags out of this um, uh, pile, which was stretched this, on this plateau, and put around 400 kilos of biodegradable bags into those plateau. We, with loader, then uh, push it into the tunnel number two, uh, tunnel number two, and we start, start with the process. So this pile was approximately three weeks and a half in an intense maturing process. And uh, we can see that pH was around six, because uh, this, uh, at the beginning, it's uh, very acidic. So temperature was around 70. So this is a very good temperature to, to make uh, some uh, PLA or PCL uh, degradable. We have uh, required two, two, uh, three cubic meter of water was required because we must, uh, achieve, we must achieve the temperature around 70 degrees. That's why so much water. So after two uh, weeks, bags were dirty and pale, and degree of decomposition should be, I think, around 50%. Then after intense maturing comes subsequent maturing one, and it was five weeks in a process. So and the pH was uh, oops, pH was raging, uh, it was increasing concerning uh, the uh, intense maturing. Uh, two, cubics, two cubic meter of water required, and after three weeks, altogether, let's say six weeks, maybe seven, uh, to my surprise, I must admit, uh, no trace of any bags, really. A degree of the composition should be then 100%. So after subsequently maturing one comes another uh, one, uh, and we're in three weeks in process. pH was now uh, uh, is going up until 7.5, 7.7, and temperature were, was in the range between 55 and 60 and decreasing a little bit. So uh, after the, the fourth uh, phase, we saw that the, uh, visually that amount of plastic parts comparing were with the normal were logically reduced and again no, no sign of any bags for my suspicion mind it's pretty good <laughs> so conclusions are that 
plastic parts were reduced, I think, down to 10% comparing with the normal piles. No effect on the process. It means that temperature, pH, wetting, uh, wetting uh, uh, everything, everything remained the same. So these oxo-biodegradable materials obviously do not harm any vital microorganism process. Uh, so like in sci-fi movies, a desired aim were accomplished. So if you, have, if you have some thoughts or maybe some compliments or maybe, I don't know, uh, threats or something, please do not hesitate to contact me on this uh, address. Thank you for your attention and have a nice time.